whether it's Pro-Am, whether it's Rec, whether it's anything else, 2-3 zone is something that you are struggling with. You cannot beat it. You don't know how to beat it. Let me give you some basic fundamentals when it comes to beating the 2-3 zone. You'll get people out of the 2-3 zone within a quarter because you're going to get countless easy buckets time after time, and people are going to realize that the 2-3 zone is actually a really bad defense when it comes to it, and it is so simple to beat. Do not forget to smash that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Leave any comments and questions down below. I'm happy to answer them. This is Basic Fundamentals 101 on how to beat this, and I'm going to show you three full strategies, so let's dive right on into it. Before we actually cover the strategies, you need to know three major things when it comes to beating the 2-3 zone. The first thing you need to know, dribbling is an absolute killer. Dribbling and trying to dribble through a 2-3 zone is exactly what they want. It's going to absolutely be a killer for you. You need to pass. You need to work as a team. You need to be spaced out, and you need to pass the ball. Dribbling is an absolute killer. The second major killer for you is going to be screens. 95% of the time, screens are exactly what they want. They they want you to screen because you're bringing two guys to one person, and they only need one person to guard that person. You need spacing. Screens, 95% of the time, do not work. That 5% of the time, I'm going to show you in strategy three of exactly how to screen properly when you are going to do it. And then the third thing is patience. Against a 2-3 zone, you have to be patient. You have to take a deep breath. You have to relax. You cannot try to be too aggressive, and you cannot try to press the ball. You cannot try to push it through the 2-3 zone. You cannot try to dribble through it. You have to be patient. You have to work for a great shot. Give up a good shot, get a great shot. That is a key fundamental to beating a 2-3 zone easy, and I'm going to show you countless clips right now. Let's dive on into it now. Strategy one, the first thing you can do always, and it's not even really a full strategy. It's something you do fundamentally. Push the basketball. As soon as you get any rebound, get out on the fast break as quickly as possible. The faster you get the ball over half court, the faster they can't set up their 2-3 zone, and the faster somebody is going to be open. You're seeing here clip after clip of pushing the ball as soon as we get up the court. Easy bucket, easy bucket, easy bucket. Push the ball. That is a simple strategy. You don't even need to think about it. Just do what you naturally do. Push the ball as quickly as possible. They're going to be confused. They're not going to be able to set up their defense. Super easy. So let's get into strategy two here. So just fundamentals of what is a 2-3 zone, right? So a 2-3 zone means that you have one defender here, and if you follow my cursor, one defender here. They're going to put three guys along the baseline. The center is just going to sit around the hoop and try to protect the rim. And what they want you to do is they want to beg you to try to pass the ball so they can get steals. They want you to shoot three, so they want to just kind of late contest it. It's so that they can prevent any easy buckets around the hoop. Now, the easiest way to combat a 2-3 zone is to play the opposite. So, in this situation, we're not in a perfectly good setup spot. Because what you want to do is you want to counter their numbers. So if they have two people here, you want three people here. So you want one at the top three across this middle line, and then you want one guy running the baseline. So then you're going to eventually outnumber them there. So it's called a 1-3-1. One, one. So here you can see we are in what is a 1-3-1. One, one. So you can see there's a guy at the top, one guy at the middle, and now this is your most important person. The person in the middle is the most important person. This person should be able to shoot a mid-range. This person should be able to pass the ball. This person should have a lot of patience because they are going to be the center of the offense and hands down the most important person for you. But we have one at the top, one in the middle, two guys on the wings, and then one guy in the dunker spot running the baseline. You can see already just by getting in this formation how these guys have had to press up higher. They're pressed up higher and they've pretty much opened up the entire baseline here. Now, these guys on the wings, they can push down to the corner if they want, but that is essentially the foundation of what you want to do. You want to play high-low. So, you want to pass it. Everything has to work through the center. The ball should go to the center, and I'm going to show you clip after clip here. Ball going through the center, easy bucket. Pass to the center. Pass to the center. Center passes it in, passes it out. 
That should be easy, fundamental basketball. Okay? Pass here. Patience. Everyone gets set up. Pass to the center. There. Bucket. Go to the next one. Push the ball up. Everybody gets set up. You can see here, we're all set up, right? We got one guy at the top, one guy in the wing. I'm in the center, one guy at the wing. And then this is our, this is our runner. This is our baseline runner. You get the ball to the center. What this does is it makes this guy choose. He's on an island. Do I stop this shot? If he doesn't, hit the mid-range. If he comes up at all, you hit the dunker in the dunker spot. He comes up. He's, now you're in the dunking spot. It's literally that simple. Ball in the middle, hit the mid-range. If you Right now, I don't hit these mid-ranges because my mid-range is a 25. I'm still getting that up on my player. But if you hit the mid-range, you can see I, I've hit one in the past on a floater. He stepped up. Easy dunk. Now, the fastest way to get the easy dunk is what I love to do. Alley-oop, right? You got somebody down here. He's pushing up high. Throw the alley-oop to your dunker guy. Alley-oop, easy bucket. They cannot stop that. Work the ball through the middle. These are easy, easy buckets. Now, if they actually play this smart and they start pushing this guy, I'm going to show you, they start pushing me up here. So they're taking away the mid-range, they're taking away the attack point. The easiest way to do this is to skip the ball. Run your, instead of entering the ball through the middle here, what you're going to do is you're going to just skip it down low to this person. The dunker is now wide open to dunk. You can see here, he just goes back line. This guy's pushed up on me. This guy's in la-la land here, and it's an easy bucket. Easy, countless buckets. That's what we want. Easy, countless buckets. You have to be patient through this. And like I said, your middle guy needs to be the person. He needs to be the attacker. He needs to hit mid-range shots. It's easy buckets. If you got that, you either hit the mid-range or you attack. Force this guy to make a decision. In this situation, I attack. I drop it off to the dunker, and we get easy buckets. It's, it's that simple. And I know I'm just a little choppy on this stuff, but it's literally the same thing every time. Pass it to the middle. Work the ball through the middle. Work the ball through the middle. Easy dunk spots. It's that simple. So this is the third strategy. This is called the overload strategy here. And you can see here, instead of spacing it out 1-3-1, one, one, I'm still in the middle spot. Still in the middle spot here. But what we're doing now is we're overloading one side. So I'm occupying this person here by staying on this block. So he cannot leave me by staying on this block which forces this person here to make a decision. He either has to press up or he has to press out. This person also has to make a decision. He either has to press up or he has to press back. He cannot make a decision. This person down here is occupied by the dunker in the dunker spot and then this person is left with nobody over here and he doesn't know what to do. So the simple solution here is make this person decide. You can see here in this, in this situation, He's pressed up a little bit. So what you do is you skip the ball over his head and you're going to get a wide open three. You can see our guy right here getting his hands ready. He's ready to shoot, always ready to shoot. Skip pass, jump shot, cash, green money. It's that simple. And like I promised you, I'm going to tell you the only time in which you should actually be setting a screen, right? So if you ever needed a three or you wanted a three, what you do is you take the middle guy, you take the middle guy, and he is screening one of the top people for an open three. So you send the ball into the corner, send the ball into the corner, and you can see here now he's drawing attention this way. This person's off in La La Land, and our guy is setting up here for a wide open three. And now what I'm going to do instead of being occupied in here is I'm going to set a wall. We have one guy occupying this guy, and I'm setting a wall so that way he can sit behind this this three-point line here, and he's not going to be able to get because this person doesn't know what he's doing. So you can see here, I'm now setting the wall to set up a three, and what we do is a quick, quick little just pass over the top, set the screen, bump them, easy three, cash green. That is the only time in which you should ever be setting screens when it comes to two-three zones. So I hope these helped. 
easy buckets, easy strategy. Let me know down in the comments section. Don't let somebody run a 2-3 zone against you because it's a pathetic defense to run, and it is the easiest defense in basketball to beat. And the fact is that people struggle with this is uh, it's kind of funny because it's just basketball one-on-one. It's fundamentals. Pass the ball. Be patient. Like, subscribe. We'll see you in another video. Let me know if there's other strategies you would love to learn about basketball. Thank mm -hmm. you.